ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் வெல்கம் டு மை சேனல் கிக் ஸ்டார்ட் பிரைவசி திஸ் ஹேண்டி வீடியோ டு டேட்டா ப்ரொடெக்ஷன் கவர்ஸ் சம் ஆஃப் த கீ பாயிண்ட்ஸ் யூ நீட் டு நோ அண்ட் திங்க் அபவுட் வென் கெட்டிங் ஸ்டார்டட் ஆல் ரைட் லெட்ஸ் கெட் ஸ்டார்டட் அண்ட் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் த பேசிக்ஸ் வாட் இஸ் டேட்டா ப்ரொடெக்ஷன் டேட்டா ப்ரொடெக்ஷன் ரெஃபர்ஸ் டு தி ப்ராக்டிசஸ் சேஃப் கார்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் பைண்டிங் ரூல்ஸ் புட் இன் பிளேஸ் டு ப்ரொடெக்ட் யுவர் பர்சனல் இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் and ensure that you remain in control of it in a sense it ensures that your personal data is not misused or accessed without your permission right next why is it important the number one is uh, the trust <clears throat> businesses need need the trust of their customers to succeed if data breaches occur or if data is misused the trust is eroded right the second important point is legal implications many countries have stringent data protection laws and non compliance can lead to hefty fines the third important point is identity protection personal data if fallen into the wrong hands can lead to identity theft and fraud next what are the key concept in data protection uh, personal data data controller processing data subject data processors let's understand one by one what is personal data personal data refers to any information relating to an identified or identifiable person this can include names addresses email addresses phone numbers ip addresses and even data like social media post next what is processing any operations or set of operations performed on personal data for example the collection the storage the modification etc this is all called as processing right next what is a data subject data subjects are individuals to whom personal data relates in other words it is you and me people whose data is being collected and processed next <coughs> who are data controllers controllers or legal entities that determine the purposes and means of processing personal data they are responsible for deciding why and how data is processed next who are data processors data processors are entities that process personal data on behalf of controllers they act according to the controllers instructions and are responsible for implementing appropriate security measures next <clears throat> the basic principles of data protection the number one is lawfulness fairness and transparency the second one is purpose limitation the third one is data minimization fourth one is accuracy fifth one is storage limitation sixth one is integrity and confidentiality which is security here and finally the accountability let's understand each principles lawfulness fairness and transparency which means processing must be legal fair and transparent to the data subject next next principle is purpose limitation which means that the personal data must to be collected for specified explicit and legitimate purposes next data minimization which means that only the necessary amount of data should be collected and processed next 
accuracy data should be accurate and when necessary kept up to date next storage limitation the data should be kept only as long as necessary next integrity and confidentiality which is nothing but the security so the data the personal data must be kept secure next accountability accountability requires you to take responsibility for what you do with personal data and how you do comply with the other principles right next the rights of data subjects the data subjects have rights to know they have rights to access they have rights to rectification they have the right of eraser that is nothing but a right to be forgotten a uh, right of restriction right of portability and right of objection let's understand the the rights the right to know and access as a data subject or as an individual you can ask an organization what personal data they have about you which is known as a right to know next right to rectification as a data subject you can request corrections to inaccurate or incomplete data next right to eraser as a data subject you can ask for your data to be deleted but under certain circumstances next right to restriction as a data subject you can request that your data processing be limited under certain conditions next right to portability you can request your data in a commonly used format to transfer to another service providers next right to object you can object as a data subject to the processing of your data such as for direct marketing next what are the key responsibilities as a privacy professional when processing personal data in an organization let's understand the the responsibilities obtain consent before collecting or processing data you must obtain clear and informed consent from the data subject that means the person whose data it is this means explaining why you need the data and how you will use it for example an online retailer must ask ask for consent before sending marketing emails to its customers next data minimization only collect data that is necessary for your specified purpose don't hoard extra data just in case for example if running a survey about food preferences there is no need to ask for participants financial details next ensure accuracy regularly update and correct data allow data subjects to correct inaccurate or incomplete data for example a health clinic should periodically verify patient contact details and allow patients to update their own records next limit storage don't keep personal data longer than necessary define clear data retention policies and stick to them for example a job recruitment agency should delete the cvs of candidates after a position has been filled and a specified period has passed next maintain confidentiality and integrity use encryption conduct regularly sec- regular security audits and restrict access to data for example 
a financial institution encrypts customer transaction data and only allow access to their authorized personnel next ensure transparency inform data subjects about how their data will be used who will have access to it and their rights regarding their data for example a mobile app should clearly explain its privacy policy how user data will be used and with whom it might be shared next facilitate data subject rights allow data subjects to access modify delete or transfer their personal data they should also be able to object to certain types of processing for example a social media platform should offer users the ability to download their data delete their data or accounts and correct any post or information next collaboration is key the legal team ensures that data processing practices comply with local and international regulations the it team that can implement technical safeguards like firewall encryption and intrusion detection systems and finally the training providers all staff should be trained on data protection basics and understand their responsibilities the conclusion protecting personal data is not just about adhering to legal requirements it's about respecting the rights of individuals and maintaining trust by understanding and fulfilling your responsibilities when processing personal data you ensure a safer digital landscape for every one involved thanks for watching please subscribe and stay tuned for more interesting topics in data privacy and protection Bye-bye.